Yo, Rebel fam, I'm not even gonna try to act like I had the easiest time getting the shoe. By far one of the most difficult sneaker pickups I think I've ever had. But luckily for me, I gotta give a major shout out to one specific company. They know I love them and I'm going to be thanking them throughout this entire video. So let us go ahead and get into it. Let's go. Three, two, one. Rebel fam, what's good? It's your guy, Mac the Rebel, back with another video for you today on this beautiful afternoon in Washington, D.C. Family, listen, I am just super excited to be here. Thank you all for being here. This channel does not grow, progress, continue, anything like that without you all. So I have to, of course, say thank you just for being on the channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, family, and it's in entirety. Rebel fam, let us go ahead and get into today's review of the Super Limited, the Saucony Grid Azura 2000 J Tips Collaboration, also known as J Tips First Shoe. I'm not even gonna try to sit up here and cap. Major shout out to my family at Atmos USA, man. Listen, I'm not even gonna front family. They look out for the kid, helping me secure this pair. One of the shoes I've had my eye on for the entire year, ever since it was announced. And I'm so glad to finally have it in my collection. Saucony J Tips, flat out crushed this shoe. If you have not had a chance to see this shoe in person, family, I highly recommend getting it. I am pretty sure that this shoe is sold out in most places just because of how limited the drop was. But if you're able to find one, maybe on the aftermarket at a good price, I highly recommend getting it. I would have never thought that you could mash so many different color palettes together and the shoe still makes sense. I thought at first, man, there's no way all this is going to work. And then <laughs> as you can see right here, it definitely does. If you're unfamiliar with Saucony, they've been around for a long time and it is really dope to see them expanding to artists and collaborators like a J Tips. J Tips being known for his mini hat collaborations that literally sell out everywhere. Yes, he can now add footwear designer to his repertoire of things. J Tips, shout out to you and your team, man. Looking forward to the next release. Maybe it'll be another Saucony as dope as this one. We'll see. As far as the materials go, we have a see-through mesh lining right here on the top part of the shoe, right here on the upper. Now, of course, that has complemented with a zebra print gold trim Saucony logo right there on the side of the shoe. Take it on around the upper as well, family. You have a purple suede as well as that pink suede right there, blue suede on the back. All of that encompasses this see-through mesh liner that you have right here on the upper. So you have that see-through mesh going right here on the side, the toe box, as well as the forefoot part of the upper going up the shoe right here. Also have this waffle cotton material that is right there on not only the back heel of the shoe, but also throughout the tongue of the shoe as well. Blue suede that encompasses the toe cap. This bejeweled flower print going on all around the entire shoe as well. Then on the back, this checkerboard print right there on the heel. Wildest shoes that I'm now going to have in my collection, but I'm Honestly, I love this shoe. Is it the most sturdy feeling shoe? No, not at all. But one thing you can say about Saucony, most of the times their shoes are very comfortable and that has a lot to do with this grid system that they have right here in the soles of their shoe. Grid system going all the way throughout the shoe family. These really hard rubber outer soles is going to definitely give you that sturdiness and that toughness that you want as you're walking. And so personally, I feel like this shoe is amazing. And of course, all of the details that are on the shoe, you know, something that JTips lives by is like, you know when it says right here remember who fronted you have the crown logo right there on the tongue of the shoe right there on the inner sole and then you have Saucony worldwide right there on the tongue of the shoe and then on the other side you actually have savior originals j tips has a brand called savior worldwide Saucony, of course they go by Saucony original love seeing the mashup of co-branding right there on the tongue just another really dope effect on the shoe I'm trying to get all these materials out the way it comes with gray laces already in the shoe but then you also have purple laces right here as well. If you guys can see them hanging off, well, you can definitely see them because this is the, I actually tried the right shoe on when I took them right out the box, but you guys can actually see that right there. Brown 
right there. And then on the left shoe, you actually have uh, the Worldwide logo. And then let's see, take the paper out. On the inner sole, it says, remember who fronted on the left shoe. I'm not taking the inner sole out, so don't ask, sorry. On the other side, it says Uptown Bronx 2007. Personally, I have not researched exactly what Uptown Bronx 2007 means, but I'm pretty sure it's something significant to J-Tips. Don't quote me on that family. Love the translucent sole on the bottom as well. So you have the hard rubber pink outer sole, but you also have that translucent, almost like a peach color for the traction and the grip. All right, can you guys see that right there? That traction right there on the bottom. I think that's a really dope touch as well. And then let's see, made by J-Tips right there on the inside of the inner sole. The box is crazy in itself as well, family. So not only do you have that J-Tips signature, as far as the writing goes, look, right here it says J-Tips first shoe. Then it also says in collaboration with Saucony Originals on the top as well. Love how on the bottom it says I had this crazy idea one day. And then it does have his signature uh, screen printed right there on the box. On the long side, it says, I remember who fronted. I remember who did not see the vision. I remember who changed the conversation. Saucony X Savior. Dope shoe all around, family. I think people really slept on this shoe at first. And then once they heard how limited it was, then they were like, you know what? Ooh, I gotta have it. Now I gotta have it. Yeah, man, we get it. We understand. All right. But yeah, family, on the interior. Oh, and then it says, never stop believing because dreams do come true. Take a picture in these. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then of course you have his Savior Worldwide logo right there on the side, man. So look, family, really, really dope shoe all around. On the inside is just plain Jane box, so nothing too crazy to see there. Tag does read Grid Azura 2000 Saucony Multi. So size 12, men's. So glad to have this pair in my hands, finally. Oh my god again major major love and shout out to my family at atmos usa family listen if you're not tapped in with the brand make sure you shop their link is in the description of this video so make sure you go to www.atmosusa.com and make sure you shop up with the team over there always got some good deals going on always got something going on whether it's in harlem philadelphia or dc rebel fam listen i love you guys i appreciate y'all thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this review i just wanted to give you my personal take on on how fire and how dope this shoe is. If you can get your hands on it, I say please definitely do so before the price starts shooting up on the aftermarket. Luckily, I have my pair right here, and so I don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> but anyways, family, look, I love you. Enjoy the on foot that is to proceed at the end of this video. And it's your guy, Mac the Rebel, checking out. Make sure you shop the Amazon store. Link is in the description of the video. I love you, family. Peace.